guys. Alright, so I'm here to do an update what's on my phone video. I did one of these a couple years ago on my Galaxy S3, but I think like almost a year ago I got a new phone. I got the iPhone 6. And I don't know if you watched my last video, and I don't know if I, I edited it out or not, but I know that I did go on a rant about the iPhone and how much I would not get it because it's pretty much the same thing as an Android, and Androids can do more, blah, blah, blah. So... I kind of went back on what I said, and I'm a hypocrite, because I got the iPhone, clearly. Um, but at the time, I didn't want an iPhone, be only, yeah, because you can do more on Androids. I do believe, like, if you're a techie person, I think Androids are better, because you could do a lot more with it software-wise. Um, and if you really simply want an iPhone, or a cell phone, just for a cell phone, um, the iPhones are the you know, best thing for it. So, yeah, but um, at the time when I was upgrading my phones, I wanted something totally different than my S3. And, and the S4 and I believe the S5 were not much different from each other. And I was just like, I don't know. It's pretty much the same phone. I kind of don't want like that. And I don't know about the Note because, you know, the Note was, I don't know if it was too big for me or not. So I was like, they just improved the iPhone. They made it bigger. I'm like, maybe I'll try it out, because I was definitely not going to go to the iPhone if they kept them the same size, because, like, the Galaxy S3 is already a big phone. Why would I go from a big phone, and I love big phones, or that size of phone, and go to something that's, like, this small? So, I was just like, what, um, I can't, like, downgrade. So, but they didn't make it bigger, and I'm like, I never had an iPhone before, and I have a MacBook, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to try it out. So, I don't know, that's my justification of it, whatever. Anyways, so I got the iPhone 6 in gold, and I believe I had the 32 gigabyte. Um, I know I don't have the lowest, and I don't have the highest gigabyte. I have the middle, and I believe that's 32. I don't know. I don't remember. So, yeah. And I don't know the specs of it or anything. I, I'm not very techie savvy in that way, but there are videos out there. That go over all the specs and the specifics and all that kind of stuff, but I guess it kind of doesn't really matter because the, S the success is out. So this is a video purely out there to just see what I put on my iPhone and not what is all about the iPhone 6 because there's already an upgrade on the iPhone 6. Um, anyways, there we go. And I have a, my case that I'm using is it's a Sonics case and it's called Bahamas. And it's clear on the back with like little palm trees with gold like t detail in the leaves. I love it. And it's just black rubber sides. So like the rubber sides, if you drop your phone, are supposed to take the hit so the hit doesn't go onto the phone. And I love it. Um, I'm going to try to put this on with one hand. And... There you go. It just snaps in. And I just love it because of the gold detailing on the leaves. Kind of like match the gold back. I only thing is my son plays with my phone a lot. And he like likes to like go like this to the floor with it. So now it has scratches and stuff. But it's still a great and beautiful case. And you know it is what it is. So I'm going to go and dive right into what I have on my phone. All right, so the lock screen is a picture of my husband and um and my baby, and I'm gonna go in with my thumb indicator. Up top, we have Google Calendar. I use Google soft. I love to use Google software over Apple, be just because I just like um, Apple. I mean Google software, um, but I don't have much in my Google Calendar. I just have like right now my school schedule, and that's pretty much it. Um, next I have inbox. I'm not going to go in there because I have bills and stuff that is sent to me, but inbox is an app that is kind of came off Gmail. Um, it's still Google and Gmail, but it's a more Google made this app so you can be more organized with your emails and your um, inbox is not so cluttered and stuff because my Google actual gmail is like cluttered with like you know, like um store emails like 
advertising and emails, like random bills and whatever. And I, I love this app because it just like, it sorts it so like I can actually see important emails and when important emails come to me through my actual Gmail, it's like mixed in with everything else and it's just, it's too much for me sometimes. This one I love because you can make folders and, and have certain emails be sent to those folders. So like anytime like DTE, my energy bill is sent to me, it goes into the DTE folder and it's organized there and I know it's there. I don't have to see like a whole list. It's not mixed in with everything else. If you kind of get what I'm trying to like get what I'm rambling about. Um, you also can like, if you swipe one way on the email, you could, it's done so you can delete things really fast. Or if you swipe the other way, you could like schedule an email. Like if you can't, if you don't have time to read a certain email right now, you can schedule it and be like, I want to read it tomorrow at 2 p.m. And it will remind you to read it at 2 p.m. tomorrow. So I think it's really cool. It's just to make it easier and more organized. Anyways, the next app is the Weather Channel app. Clearly it uses for weather. Next, I have my Instagram, and um, I'm at Alexa, Alexis Nadina, and you feel free to follow me. I might not follow back or accept it, just because sometimes, like, I know I'm not that popular on YouTube right now, so I just don't really know. Sometimes I just get weirded out by random strangers following me, but if you do follow me on uh, Instagram or any of my social media just leave it in the comments in the video and I make sure I'll accept it. But, yeah. That's it. And I just pretty much follow a lot of my the people on YouTube and my friends. But because of this new thing with um, Instagram and its updates, I pretty much only see like the celebrities I follow. I rarely see my friends' pictures. Anyways, next I have my Facebook, which is my personal Facebook. So, I'm not going in there. I have Twitter. I rarely use Twitter. Like, I'll go and read people's tweets and read different news and stuff like that, but I don't go and tweet at all. If I do, it's like once a year, or it's like once every two years. Like, I legit don't use this, so. Um, my Tumblr was, when I had a Tumblr, was linked to this, so that's why I have a lot of tweets. But I never use Twitter, so. There's no point of even looking me up. Anyway, so next I have my Kindle app. And I use this a lot just whenever I am um, at work because sometimes it's boring. So I'll like try to I'll read the book I'm reading. Right now I'm reading The Martian by Andy Weir. Um, but this is where I have my Kindle right now. I'm also reading Quiet. Um I can't read the title. It's called Quiet and like the power of the power of introverts. Oh my gosh. It's called Quiet, the Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking by Susan Kane. And I am super like I'm not that far into it, but I am like extremely enjoying this book right now. Just because that's I'm an introvert and it's really like opening my eyes to who I am a little bit and I don't really ever read books like this like I don't read self-help books or like books I like fiction I don't like reading books that are to me self-help books and stuff like that are kind of like textbooks and I'd rather just keep that at school um but I actually really am enjoying this book and it's, it's crazy um well not crazy but I just really like enjoy it anyways next I have snapchat oh it's probably gonna take a picture of me uh, I'm not really dressed, so I'm not going to show you myself, but um, it's, I am at Alexis, or sorry, Alexa, Alexi89, um, so yeah, feel free to follow me if you like. You're just going to see a bunch of pictures of me, my baby, cause, or me doing like the filters. I don't snap a lot of anything else. I have my Pinterest, so I pretty much just go on Pinterest just to look at home decor and like baby stuff or food. Um, I don't use this as much as I used to when it first came out, but I still go on, you know. Um, next is BuzzFeed. I go on BuzzFeed to just, you know, see different news stuff and 
I don't know, read different articles and read funny things. It's just something I do when I'm bored, especially at work. Um, I have my YouTube app. I always go on here to watch my people that I subscribe to. And yeah, they keep up with them. Um, I have my like channel. Again, you know, I'm trying to improve it. Like I'm trying to become more consistent and like also want to be. So next is Ibotta. Um, Ibotta is like one of my favorite like coupon apps ever um, because it's actually a rebate app. So you, for instance, you can like. I use it primarily for groceries, but you can use it for like clothing, electronics, whatever. So let's say you go to Myers to shop. So they have all these items that have rebates. And let's say you want this, the Zest boot, Fruit Boost or whatever that crap this is. You unlock it. You have to watch the video to unlock it. And it unlocks for you. And then you just have to like take a picture of the receipt. And scan the barcode of the item to prove that you actually bought the item. And then you can get 75 cents for this product. And so every time I shop, I pretty much go to whatever store I'm shopping at and look if there's anything on the rebates that um, I need that I'm going to the store for so I can make sure I get that brand so I can get that much money that money back. Because so it's pretty much like a coupon. It's like I'm pretty much getting 75 cents off this Saffron Road Frozen entree. So... I do that too. As long and I also go like on the store's coupon sites. So it's just it's just ways to like save money. I have clock, notes, um, Pandora, and I have Spotify. I love Spotify and I use this over Pandora because you can actually listen to an actual the actual um artist and you don't have to speaking of like store apps, okay. But um you can actually go listen to the artist and don't have to listen to other artists that are like them. Like, you can just listen to that specific artist. And I just like that. Um, I like Pandora, but, like, it just bothers me when I want to listen to a specific artist and I get a bunch of, like, other people. I don't know. That's just me. I'm weird. Um, we have FaceTime. I have my bank app. I have camera, app store, photos. I have my school app. Um, and I have Roku, which is like the streaming device I use for um, the Roku app I use because I use Roku to stream Sling TV, Hulu, and Netflix. Um, I don't have cable, so I use those three things to watch TVs or TV. <laughs> um, anyways, and the Roku, I don't know if you have Roku, but Roku remotes suck. They'll like work, but then randomly they'll stop working for like 10 minutes and... And then sometimes you have to like unplug the device and plug it back in for it to work. So I got like the Roku app because you can sync the remote to this app and you can just use your phone. And it's way better. Um, down at the bottom I have phone messages, Google. Like I said, I like Google over any Apple software. And then I have music because I love listening to music. I like, I listen to music in the car through my phone. And then I listen... Yeah, just listen. I just love music. Anyways, I have my iTunes store. I have MSQRD, which is like a photo app I have not used yet. Um, but I've wanted to use it. But it's kind of like Snapchat, man. Look. Oh, this is crazy. It's like Snapchat. But not Snapchat. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, look how bad I look right now. <laughs> Anyways, I have Dove Smash. I have Shazam. Everyone knows what Shazam is. Everyone who makes these videos has Shazam and explains it. So I'm not gonna explain that. I have Audible, which I um I don't have a like and thing with them. I was using like one of the free things and. I stopped, but these are the, I have Keep the Change, We Were Liars. I just got done reading that, listening to that, and I actually really like that story. Keep the Change, um, but I also have Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? If I Stay, Where She Went, and Divergent. Right now, I'm listening to nothing. It's because I kind of got, I don't know. 
<laughs> I have my fitness pal. I have Aldi, which is a store. I have Etsy, and I have Facebook mentions, which I don't really need anymore because I didn't realize that is for people who are like famous or are um, public figures. Um, I have, and so on the last page, I have folders. I have a phot photography folder. I'm not gonna explain how I edit my Instagram photos because I don't really edit them very a lot. I just pretty much just put them on there. Sometimes use a filter that they have. But anyways, if I randomly do edit, these are some of the apps I use. Pick, play, post. I have free print prints because you can like print 75 pic pictures from your phone for free. You just have to pay for the shipping. I use that sometimes. I have split lenses, square ready, Avery, layout, and polar. My next, I have utilities, which is a bunch of apps I really don't use. But I have find my iPhone. Um, settings calculator, gift keyboard, love that. Trans Google Translate videos, watch. Then the calendar app. I have Gmail and QR reader. Um, I have a shopping app. We have eBay, Kroger, Ulta, Amazon, Meyer, Starbucks, Cartwheel, PayPal, Google Wallet. I have Shopkick, which is kind of cool. Like you can go into certain stores and they'll give you and how many kicks you get you can get a prize like for instance right now I think I signed up for like the iPad Pro or something prize so if I get 125,000 kicks I get a free iPhone or I, um, iPad um, but I don't really do it often but like you just pick like Myers per se you get you walk in you just get 35 kicks um, if you scan any of these products you get 25 kicks for this product. You get 20 kicks for this. So I want to use it, but I just forget like about these some of these coupon apps. Why not, which is another coupon app that I use a lot when I first got this app, but I don't really use it that often anymore. Oh man, I hate these pop-ups, man. They just like annoying. Okay, anyways, yeah, it's just another coupon app. And if you don't know. It's free, one or not free, one dollar sub day at Jimmy John. So today, look or well, this is probably gonna be up like next week, so it doesn't even matter. Anyways, you have loyalty, love, and Ebates. Um, next is extras, which is a bunch of like iPhone apps I don't use or you can delete. In my games folder, I have Words, Temple Run 2, Trivia Crack, Free Play, Piano Tiles 2, Heyday, which I play all the time in Hot Hop Shot. I have health, which, um, oops, gosh, okay, I have pregnant, what to expect with the pregnancy app, I have life, which is your time of the month app, and I have health, um, productivity, oh my gosh, sorry, I'm like not with my flow today, oops, crap, gotta add that out, um, I have product, productivity app, which is, has my Verizon and my Verizon cloud, I have social app, or a folder which has Google Reads, or sorry, Good Reads, Facebook Messenger, Keep, which is kind of like Pinterest, but a little, in, not, I don't know which one's better, but it actually tells you where you can get some of the stuff. Like if you wanted these shoes, you say buy, and it'll take you to those shoes so you can buy them. So it's more like specific. Like if you really, it's just a big collection of nice things, and it tells you where you can buy them. Like, I really like these glasses. But they're probably like, what are they, $54? Probably not. Sometimes I put the wrong price on here, just to let you know. Like, the people who put these on, they put, like, some things you know they're, like, they'll put, like, $200. But you go on the site and it's, like, 10 It's ridiculous. Sometimes they lie. I don't know. I have WordPress, YouTube Studio, Yelp, Repost, and Time Hop. I have Sling TV. I have navigation, which just has navigation sites or apps, and then I have my baby's app right here. I have Monkey, Fire Fisher Price, Storybook One by Fisher Price, and Sleepy Slounds for him. And that is pretty much it. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.